folks, welcome back to Northwest Bushcraft. Well, we've, um, it's the uh, beginning of May now, and managed to get out for a couple of days camp. Uh, the main reason to come out for a camp, which you'll see in the sort of our company video that goes along with this one, is I'm doing a full review on the new DD Hammock Superlight range, and it's a hammock, tarp, uh, mosquito net, and an underquill, all from DD Hammocks. So, but that'll be in another video. But for now. Uh, we've got a fire going, collected plenty of firewood, smoke's getting in the way as normal. Uh, we're going to get some TIG on shortly, and, but there's something I want to show you kind of over that way. And for those of you that remember the, uh, the Tinker's Tent video that I did, where I wove all the hazel in, when we came up here today to, have a, um, to sort of film this camp and film uh, the review, we noticed there's a badger trail going through, right through the centre of the camp. I mean, it looks like the M6 of the badger world. So I'll, I'll take you up there and, and show you some video footage of that in a sec. Okay, so there's the, um, the Tinker's Tent sort of woven hazel uh, structure we built on the last video. And the reason we've chosen not to have our camp here this time is more of a, a respectful video really for the animals that live here. You know, we're only visitors to this woodland and you know, the animals live here. And if you have a look down in front here, you can clearly see there's a, a pathway and it follows up all the way along, goes up the hill and over the top of the hill. Now we've had a good look at it and it's quite obviously a badger trail and there's lots of other badger sign around here and we've seen some badger footprints so, you know, be respectful of nature, we're doing the right thing. We've actually pitched our camp quite a way further on rather than disturb the natural habitat of these badgers. What I'll more than likely do is because of this structure here, and obviously now that I know that there are badgers here, I'll probably take this structure down because I don't ever want to be tempted again to come up and you know kind of in invade on their land. So yes, we've decided to have a camp further away. Okay, so here's a, another shot from the side. So there's the, um, the Tinker's Tent structure that we did. And then, as clear as day in front, you can see this path that's been created by sort of the low down movement of the badger. And as it slinks along the ground because it's got short legs and it flattens down all of the grass and the bluebells. And it goes right up over the hill. So like I said, we've, you know, we've, we've done the right thing. We didn't want to make a, a camp here. You know, it's not our home, it's their home. So we, we've camped probably about another half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile further on. Okay, so we've moved on probably sort of half a mile, three quarters of a mile away from where that badger track was, and this is our camp. So we've got Phil's set up up here, and he's gone with the, the DD hammock tarp again. And then over this side, we've got Danny's there, and you'll have all seen Danny's videos from Journey to Bushcraft. And then over there, that's my setup there. down here, that'll be, that'll be Phil's backside, and then we've got Danny and Phil down here.
That's for a big pan. Dutch oven, mine, I think, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I can't see nothing up there. Don't forget that front bit wants trimming down as well. Front bit? The, yeah, yeah. You don't need it to be massive like that. No. Morning folks, well it's uh, morning number two of the, the weekend camp and it's time for breakfast. We've got, as normal, a little bit of bacon and we've also foraged some uh, St George's Day mushrooms as well yesterday so I'm going to chop these up, throw them in the pan along with some sausage and bacon. Ostrich eggs cooked in the uh, <laughs> ostrich eggs from uh, Morrison's cooked in the Forage to egg. Yeah. Right. I think we're pretty much done now. Ah. 